Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today we have another unboxing from Japan. Uh, it's quite a big box, but I don't think there's a lot of items in here. I think there's a couple of big ones though. So, uh, well, I'll just go on, I'll open that box. Okay. First item, quite light, but covered in bubble wrap, so this will be a lot of noise, so I may, I may mute this. Okay, that's uh, a nice box. Let's, uh, let's cut this open. There we go. Okay, <laughs> a smaller parcel on the inside. I like pass the parcel. You know, uh, the newspaper portion. I mean, yeah, it really is like pass the parcel. <laughs> That's very much like an Amazon style packing there. So we got okay. Then we have a cartridge. Uh, so let me set cartridge. Okay. So opening this up. There we go. So it is raid on Bungling Bay for the MSX, uh, and that is actually a bit of a clue to one of the other items that was inside this. MSX is not a normal machine for us because uh, we do tend to only deal with ones that uh, don't have keyboards i.e. consoles. There are a few exceptions. <sighs> okay. Oops. Bubble wrap leads into two smaller parcels. These won't necessarily be from the same person, well they might be. Uh, it's just that we, you can consolidate parcels on Bai, who is people who use as the for Japanese auctions. So they may have put them together themselves. Ah, right. I'll carefully cut that. Oh, open down you. There we go, so that's Mario, ooh, there we go, Mario Tennis for the Virtual Boy. I believe this is another Virtual Boy game. Indeed. This is baseball for Nintendo Virtual Boy. I've got my, I've got my studio like kind of set up over here, and uh, I've got it low so that in an attempt not to boil myself alive because it's still quite warm here in England, even though it's not particularly sunny. Uh, but it unfortunately means that I've only got a very small window where I can actually display things without them being in shadow. Envelope with oh, even more packing inside. So trying hard not to destroy what was inside the wrapping. There we go. Ah, this is an interesting one. Let me take off the uh, the wrapping. Which just looks like basically cling film. Yeah, this box I ordered quite a while ago, but it's basically it's come via ship rather than aeroplane. Just to cut costs down really. 
Um, but so I'd almost forgotten about this, but yeah, this is the Barcode Boy, which is an add on for the Game Boy that lets you use barcode for certain games. I'm not sure how it works or if it still does work, but it'd be interesting trying to find out. Okay, so that's the top items, and now there's this huge bit of packing is something by does if you pay for extra protection yeah and there's one more item but it's a doozy right so I said um, oh, we don't do like computers as such so you think the keyboards tend to be out of like uh, we do have a couple like the City TV obviously has a keyboard, and the X68000 can't be really used properly without the keyboard. That's given a an allowance, if you will, because it's just so iconic in terms of, of game development, like um, Street Fighter 2 was developed on there and, and games like that. So that's why that's kind of given a pass in terms of that. Now this... This probably won't be staying with me because it really just it isn't the kind of thing we do. I've got it because I've, I've never had the opportunity to play with one and I've always wanted to. This is... The Sony, ooh, get that in there, Hitbit HBF1XD, just rolls off the tongue. Now this is basically a, a MSX2. Now I, I own an MSX, although it has blown up as of now, I've got to fix it. But I've never tried an MSX2, so I thought I would. It's interesting, it's got the floppy drive on the side. Obviously it's going to be hit or miss if that works, because floppy drives being floppy drives. But yeah. Well, it'd be interesting. Let's see if we can just easily take it out to have a look. Yeah, it's quite lovely. It's a very nice styling, the black and the red. So that'd be interesting. I, I'll definitely take a look at it on the channel. I have. Um, we've been building a floppy emulator based on the Casgerino. Uh, which will work with this, and I've got a version. There's a little bit of rust around the joy pads, which you probably can't see. But uh, so we'll take a look at that. I will take a look inside this before I boot it up, just to make sure there's nothing obviously bad. But yeah, um, kind of cool. Well, that is, I believe, it. I'll just check underneath here in case, but no, that's it. Right, so uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please hit like. If you really enjoyed it, then please subscribe. If you didn't enjoy it or you've got some comments, then please leave them below. Thanks for watching.